So, as with, with, with recovering memory, you can't remember everything. But, um, you, I'm sorry, you can't make everything right, but, but you got to make certain things right. So, so just as uh, David is, is making things right here, uh, and the print in verse 3 in 2 Samuel 10, and the princes of the children of, of Ammon said, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I'll, I'll start, start back. Uh, okay, in, in verse 2, and David sent, uh, sent to comfort him by, by the hand of his servants for his father. And David's servants came into the land of the children of, 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 of Ammon. And the princes of the children of Ammon said uh, unto Hanan, their Lord, think of thou that David doth honor thy father, that he sent comforters unto thee. Have not David rather sent his servants unto thee to search the city and to spy it out and to overthrow it? Wherefore, Hanan took David's servants. Watch this. So, so, so one, it shows how important good advice is. <laughs> okay. Good advice is very important. It's very critical, okay? It's because um, you, you don't want, want your advisors to be stuck on hate. You want them to be objective, okay? It's because I understand why... Uh, uh, um, I, I understand why Hunan's servants said what it is that, that uh, they said. is because of basically... That is what God told uh, Israel to do back in the book of De Deuteronomy. Do not allow the Ammonites into the uh, sanctuary. Do not allow them to, to be a, a, a part of you. Because when you came out of Egypt, they did not meet you with uh, bread and with, and with comfort. Okay, That's not how I trained y'all to be. Because, because the Israelites and the Ammonites are related. Okay, so because you don't treat your brother the way you should in a godly kingdom manner, God remembers that. So God's sentence on, on, on the Ammonite was leave them out of it. Leave them out of that. God was offended by that. <laughs> okay, God was offended by that. If you want to get in good with God, you got to be good to his people. If you want to get in good with God, you got to be good to his people, okay? Amen. Amen. So, um, in verse 4, where, wherefore, watch this. Wherefore, Hanan took David's servants and shaved off one half of their beards and cut off their garments in the middle, even to their buttocks, and sent them away. So, these servants represent the kingdom of Israel. This is because they are in fear factor and they and Hanan received uh, um, poor advice. I understand why, but just because you can make an educated guess doesn't make it correct. Just because you, you can make an educated guess uh, doesn't make, make it correct. And then think, think about this. What if you're wrong? It could cost you your, your life. <laughs> okay. So, they seize the Israelite servants. That means they had to apprehend them. They had to grab them. They had to hold them, them down. And they had to humiliate them by shaving a half of their beard off. Now, now when, when, when I say shave, I'm not talking about with a razor, <laughs> an electric comfortable razor. No, I'm talking about an Old Testament shaving, and their their beards is not like nothing. What what I got now? No, 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 no. Their beards were prominent. Uh, a a Hebrew beard was something to behold, <laughs> and, and and it still is. It still is. But in those days, a Hebrew beard was something to to behold. Okay. So you had that. So that, that if that was humiliating enough. Now number one, back to to the advice. If David wanted to overtake you, he he could just do it. He doesn't have to send spies. David was what was that anointed 
that powerful, that blessed. He didn't have to do it that way. He did not. <laughs> he did not have to do it that way. Okay. All right. So, so, so he shaved off one half of, of their beards and cut off, cut off their garments in the middle. So, what does that mean? So, uh, the Hebrew apparel was in robes. Okay. So, men and women wore, wore robes. Okay. So. How can you tell from, 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 from a distance if a man is approaching you or a woman if they both wore, wore robes? I'm glad you asked. You can tell by the way they tied their robes. Because you had a, uh, you had a masculine way of tying it to, to indicate you have a man approaching you. And uh, if you just can't tell by physique alone. You have the women who, who tied their, their robes in, 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 a, in, a, in a feminine way to let you know this is a woman, okay? It's because cause when, when you have a barrage of Hebrews coming, all you see is just robes. So you don't know who's who, what, what's what. <laughs> okay, so the way they tied them, that was your indication. So if they wore robes, how could you further humiliate them? Cut the center. Basically, exposing their, their, their shame. Exposing their, their, their shame is a biblical phrase that means uh, naked, their, their nakedness. Okay, so they were apprehended, they were held down. Old Testament shaving, which is not comfortable, a lot of blood. And then, strategically, their garments were ripped in the middle. And they had no other garments, so they could go back humiliated. Mm. I, you know, preparing for this all week, it's just been rolling back in my mind like, whew. Mm. And sent them away. In verse 5. And when they told it unto David, and David sent to meet them because the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, tarry at Jericho until your beards, beards grow, grow back. So, by, by their beards being half, they were easy to identify. And of course, people talk. So, David said, tarry in Jericho. I will provide for you. I will provide for you. Don't worry about anything. I will provide. Because what, what they did to you, they, they did to me. And this is where I'm getting at. If Donald Trump says that he didn't know anything about the the bounty or on the heads of American soldiers, and he's totally detached from that, y'all, I cannot put in the words what that really means. You see how David is responding to his men, and you see how your your president is responding to to your men. Men and, and women, <laughs> okay. This 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 is this is this is despicable. This is despicable. Okay. All right. Number six. So we we, we go further. How, how David ha handles this. And when the children of Amnon saw that they stink before David, you're done. And the children of Amnon sent and hired the Syrians of Bethlehem and the Syrians of Zobah, 20,000 footmen, and the king of Micah, the 1,000 men, and, and Iztob, 12,000 men. And when David heard of it, he sent Joab and of all the hosts of the mighty men. And the children of Amnon came out. A A Amon, I'm sorry, the, the, the children of Amon came out and put the battle in array at the entering of the gate. And the Syrians of, 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 of Zobah and of Rehob and Iztob and Mekah went, were by themselves in the field. When Joab saw that the front of the battle were, were against him before and behind, he chose all the chosen men, choice men, choice men. Of Israel to put them in array against the Assyrians and the rest of the people he delivered into the hand of Is Isbeis, his brother, that he he might put them in array against the children of, of, of Ammon. 
And he said, if the Syrians be too strong for me, then thou shalt help me. And if, 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 if the children of, of, of Ammon be too strong for thee, then I will come and help thee. This is how it's supposed to work. Okay? There, there's no, oh, I, I, I don't know. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. That, that's, that, that's you. No, you're supposed to help each other. This is a covenant. God, God is examining how you treat other people, how you handle other people. He's watching that. Okay? He is seriously watching that. Okay? Because what you do for others, God will do for you. Better for worse. Or indifferent. Okay? Verse 12. Be of good, good courage and let, and let us play the men for our people and for the cities of our God. And the Lord do that with which seemeth him seemeth him good. And Joab drew nigh, and the people that were with him unto the battle again against the Assyrians, and they fled before him. And when the children of Ammon saw that, that the Assyrians fled, uh, then they fled they also before As Aspies, Aspies, and entered into the, the city. So, so Joab returned from the children of, of, of Ammon and came to uh, Jerusalem. And when the Syrians saw that they were smitten before Israel, they gathered themselves together. And they, Syria, the Syrians made a business decision. And had Hazarir, Hazarir sent and brought out the Syrians that were beyond the river, and they, and they came to Helam and, and Shobach. The captain of the host of of Hadzareel, uh went before them, and when it was uh, told David, he gathered all of Israel together and passed over Jordan and came to Helam. And the Syrians set themselves array against David and fought uh, against him. And the Syrians fled before Israel, and David slew the men seven hundred chariots of the Syrians and forty thousand horsemen. And smote Shobach, the, the captain of their host, who died there. In verse 19, thank, amen. In verse 19, and when all the kings that were servants to Hazarer saw that they were smitten before Israel, they made peace with Israel. And served them. So the Syrians feared to help the children of Ammon, Ammon anymore. Amen. Amen. All because they misunderstood, they misunderstood a situation. Making an educated guess still does not make it correct. Making an educated guess still does not make you correct. So, just, ooh, Israel got blessed is because now Syria is now under Israel. <laughs> Syria, the last I recall, is like a lot of times bigger than, than Israel. Excuse me. But because of David, because the anointing, because of the anointing, because of God, not because of David, because of God, which has empowered David and his favors on David. People was like, look, 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 look. I don't, I don't, I don't know why, why we even help them. I don't even know why we even dealing with them. Hey, Israel, that's where it's at. And this is how God is going to bless you, because they came against you, because they came against your your family. They are going to learn very quickly in a very bizarre way. Why, why are we even against them? Yeah, yeah. People going to say, people that hate you are going to start serving you. People who hate you, who despise you, who are your enemies, who uh, diminish your influence are going to start serving you. I decree that in Jesus' name. <laughs> That's going to happen. That's going to happen. So, amen. I, I just wanted to, to go through this to, to just let you know just how uh, uh, despicable uh, Donald Trump's denial is of, of American soldiers. And then to see how David handled a similar situation. OK, because if David was like Donald Trump, David would, would, would have been like, oh, OK, it's a just OK, well, maybe. OK, guys, just 
just to go on the in Jericho and and, and 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 grow back your beards and then we'll come back and then and then you you know you know we'll we'll you know I wanted to show favor it didn't work work out. Okay.